Hey guys, Abhishek here and today I'll be doing a quick review and experience of the Cyanogen Mod 11 on an HTC One M7. If you have been following my blog, I recently a couple of weeks ago um, installed the Cyanogen Mod 11 on my brother's HTC One M7. So here it is and I'll be posting a full review about this um, Cyanogen Mod on the HTC One M7. Um, first. I'll be talking about my experience. The experience of on this phone has been pretty brilliant. I didn't experience any lag or anything uh, on the Cyanogen mod. Uh, after installing the Cyanogen mod on this M7, uh, the pro there's no lag, no problem on that occurred on this phone. Um, let's check, have a look at the OS version as well as the Cyanogen mod version on this phone. So here you can see that it's running on Android 4.4.4 which is the latest version of Android currently available and here you can see that it's uh, it, the uh, mod that is being running is the Cyanogen mod version 11. Moving on to, uh, let's have a look at the lock screen. The lock screen is a typical um, Android lock screen. A uh, few customizable options are available on this lock screen. I'll just unlock it and that brings us to the home screen um, when you double tap the home button you can um, customize your any of the screens available with some of the widgets um, wallpapers as well as just some of the themes that are available one thing I, that i liked about the cyanogen mod 11 is that you can also customize your boot animation for example right now we have the default uh, an boot animation uh, which is with the cyanogen logo and um, uh, uh, arrow that's circling around it. So currently, that's the only boot animation available on this device. But you can also customize some fonts, icons, as well as the styles. You can also buy themes from the theme showcase that is av uh, that gets installed when you install the Cyanogen Mod 11. Moving on, um, the as I said, there's no lag experience or anything on this phone. Um, I, th I had an impression that it might perform a bit slow but there's no such um, experience at least till now. Um, the battery has been performing exceptionally well as well. Um, the battery doesn't drain like quite quickly so that's a plus one for the Cyanogen mod as well. One problem that I did experience is that the camera screen turns out to be pinkish. I'm not sure whether it's because of the Cyanogen mod or it's a problem persisting already on the phone. I guess still now that's the only con about this phone. Uh, let's move on and check the audio player. Uh, the audio player on this device is named as the Apollo and it doesn't have any songs right now, just a single one. Um, I won't be playing it for much time, just a quick look. Here we have down the controls down here, uh, which can we can operate, and I guess that's it. Uh, in case of the audio player, you can here you can see the albums which are available. It, uh, it didn't have any problem on the sound quality as well. The sound was brilliant as usual, as we see on the M7. And um, considering another thing, the alarm clock as well as the clock in this Cyanogen mod had a brilliant experience. It, it's a brilliant uh, interface. Um, when you try to customize a um, um, alarm, there are many options available to you. Just in case, consider that you want to set a new alarm. You can just select from this uh, round clock and it turns out that the um, the dials move and you can select the second number of seconds or even the number of minutes. Uh, you can toggle between the AM and the PM option. And I guess that's it for the alarm clock as well also shows us uh, how many how much time is remaining for the alarm to ring so i guess that's good i didn't experience any problem even while gaming a bit um the game in just one case lagged hardly a frame i would say but else the experience with gaming was great as well so i guess that's it for this review the phone is quite brilliant even after installing the cyanogen mod i didn't experience any problem and I honestly love the Cyanogen mod. It also has an option for the torch and I must say that it's quite um, nice to have such a animated option over here. And I don't think that um, any of the phone 
uh, offers any default torch option on the menu screen. Um, the uh, notification center had been quite simple. Just a few toggles are over here. You can just customize, and here we have the typical Android home screen. I guess that's it about the Cyanogen mod. In my opinion, I would rate this around 9.5 out of 10 for its brilliance, its animations and the customization it offers on the screen. Um, I guess that's it. Do hit the like button. If you like the video, hit the dislike button if you don't like. And leave the comments if you think that, uh, I mean, about your opinions about your, about the Cyanogen mod, what you'd like to see in it or what it misses from the typical Android um, raw OS. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.